right you guys it's Shandera what is up and welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites and in today's video I will be confessing my skincare taboos and <laughs> We are just gonna get into this video. So the first skincare taboo I am going to confess, I have to get on my off my chest. I am tired of seeing it in the comment section. Every video when I review this certain ingredient, I get a lot of flack. I'm tired of people telling me, oh, well, if you watch this TikToker, you watch this YouTuber, maybe you will learn something because you don't know what you're talking about about that product. I am so sick of it. I am finally going to get it off my chest and I am going to confess it. I am black and I love lactic acid, glycolic acid. Bring me all the glycolic acids and lactic acids. They have helped with my hyperpigmentation. I love them so much and I will never stop using them. I am a black person who loves lactic acid and glycolic acid and all the AHAs. Thanks so much for helping with my skincare. I really had to get that off my chest because you do not understand how many people get in my comment sections telling me that glycolic acid and lactic acid is bad for brown and black skin. I have no clue where y'all got that from. To each his own. If you don't like these ingredients, then girl, don't use them. If they didn't work for you, don't use them. But they have worked for me. I have reviews on these ingredients. I'm sick of y'all telling me what other TikTokers and YouTube told y'all my dermatologist told me something else so I will continue to use them I feel so good getting this off my chest you guys don't even understand how good it feels to get this off my chest <laughs> seriously you guys we need to really calm down on this hate train for glycolic acid for people of color, black people, brown people, no matter where you are in the world. It has gotten out of control. We were literally in my DMs and people of different ethnic backgrounds who are the same tone as me or darker than me. We were literally talking and confused as to how glycolic acid and lactic acid was bad, especially when we went to our dermatologist and our dermatologist told, it, told us it was okay for us. And I went to a dermatologist who actually recommended me a little stronger glycolic acid than you can find over the counter. So if you have not been to a dermatologist, please don't get in my comment section telling me glycolic acid and lactic acid is bad for the skin. Especially if you yourself have not went to that dermatologist is getting out of control. You got people questioning in their dermatologist. I cannot tell you how many DMs I have of people telling me, you know what? Like I did this conversation on my stories and they were like, I was looking at a glycolic acid my dermatologist prescribed to me and I was about to throw it away and realize no my dermatologist is right over what I hear from youtubers tiktokers if people of color black brown whatever ethnicity you are if you want to use your glycolic acids and lactic acid please go ahead use it if you want to throw it away please send it to me make sure it's gently used i don't want none that you've already used that's about one fourth done a quarter of the way done no it better be at least half and 85 percent done and gently used okay <laughs> just send it to me girl <laughs> I also have wonderful reviews of glycolic acid on my channel as well as lactic acid on my channel and I will never leave it alone. It is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Shout out to you, The Ordinary's lactic acid, 5% and 10% plus AHA. I will always love you and I will fight for you. Even if the Black and Brown Skincare Coalition disowns me, I'm already the black sheep as we speak. So I don't even care. I love it and thank you so much for getting my skin together. <laughs> So the next skincare taboo I am going to confess, I don't reapply sunscreen all the time. I am sorry, I just don't reapply sunscreen unless I'm testing the sunscreen for you guys. But I would say 50% of the time, 
I am not reapplying sunscreen and I am about, let's just say I run an errand and I am out for like four hours, the sunscreen just doesn't get re reapplied. Honestly, I'll miss myself. It's just that bad, you guys. I know. I'm sorry. I'm already the black sheep of the skincare coalition community, so I might as well just tell the truth. Honey, I don't reapply sunscreen. I don't know what to tell you. When I first started being really into my skincare, I used to reapply it a lot. But as quarantine hit, let's say you in Walmart, if you really have lab about that life, you may start reapplying your sunscreen in Walmart before you get out the store for the sun to hit. Let's say you are driving in the car for like two or three hours and you're sitting and the sun is beaming on your face. You may start to reapply your sunscreen. But let's say you left the car. Do you know how hard it is to either get to a clean bathroom so you can wash your hands? to reapply your sunscreen or use hand sanitizer and reapply your sunscreen it's just a mess so I just gave up on reapplying the sunscreen I know I know people are glaring at me and mad at me for not reapplying my sunscreen but you just don't understand eventually you get a chemical metallic taste in your mouth when you reapply your chemical sunscreen more than twice eventually the sheer mineral sunscreen start making you look like a marshmallow purple Casper the ghost. I mean, eventually those things happen with the sheer mineral sunscreens and the uh, chemical sunscreen. So I just don't have time to be reapplying constantly. If you a pool girl, reapply it. If you not a pool girl, you just don't be sitting out at the pool drinking a Mai Tai, strawberry daiquiri, you know, a Corona. You really just don't need to reapply sunscreen. But hey, do what works for you. I'm just telling you, I'm just making this confession because I just felt like it needs to get off my chest. Next one I want to get off my chest is I use way more skincare products with fragrance in it than I care to admit. Oh my God, I use way more than I should. I know it's bad. I hate to admit it. My face does smell <laughs> like a candle. I'm just so <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The next skincare taboo I have to admit is I don't read ingredient lists no more on skincare. I just don't. I'm sorry. I know I just don't. When I first started this channel, honestly, I used to be a skincare ingredient reading fool. Like, I used to read it all the time. Please go look at my videos from like a year to two years ago. I'd just be reading off ingredients and just... I mean, even the ingredients from Neutrogena packages from Walmart, I would just steady read off them. Um, I don't do that anymore. I don't read ingredients. And honestly, it happened when one day I was mad at Josh and Josh decided because I was mad at him, he wanted to buy me something. And he actually bought me a skincare set with horrific ingredients. And I was mad at him and he bought me a gift to make me even more bad at him. I don't understand how that happened. He looked at me with them sad puppy dog eyes and said, just try it. I got it for you. I said, okay, I tried it and it was the best skincare I had that night. It was really amazing. It made my skin soft and dewy from the cleanser to the toner to the moisturizer. It was really great skincare. So at that point I realized the skincare with the worst ingredients makes some of the best products. So I stopped reading the ingredient list after that. I, I just, I, I just don't. I know I should, but I don't. I will say this, and I glance at it to see if it's an ingredient that will give me an allergic reaction. But other than that, I don't care. I just love skincare. It made my skin pop. So after that, I'd say, you know what? Ingredient lists aren't everything. Just go what makes your skin feel good and glow, honey, and makes you feel good at the end of the day. And that was some of the best skincare I've had. And I just stopped reading ingredient lists after that, you guys. I know, I know, I know, but I just, this is just getting... <laughs> That being said, you guys, I'm already banned from the skincare community, the skincare coalition, the black people don't like me because I already said I love glycolic acid. So, you know, I just might as well go down the train and admit 
I use makeup wipes. <laughs> no, Gen Z is mad at me, but y'all have banned me from the skincare community anyway. They don't like me. They barely talk about me. So I'm just okay being here and saying I use makeup wipes. You guys do not even understand how easy it is to just take two makeup wipes in the shower with you and cleanse off all the sunscreen off your face with one makeup wipe and then get the rest of your skincare off your face with the other makeup wipe and then start your cleansing process. It is so easy as opposed to just putting a cleansing balm on. I'm just telling you guys, especially, you know, if you just came home from a date, you know, pre this is pre-quarantine, but let's just say you on a quarantine date, girl. I'm not mad at you go on your quarantine date. And after the day is really late, let's say y'all got home at like one or two in the morning. Nothing ain't open that late, but maybe you were looking at the stars and just chit-chatting and you had all your makeup on and stuff. And he's like, well, go in the house. I'm gonna call you in a bit when I get home. And you know, by the time he gets home, it's five minutes. You really tired, but you really want to take off all your makeup and just make sure your skin is well taken care of and get a shower before they call you back. Girl, it is so easy to just take two makeup wipes with you in a shower to just get all the makeup off your face with one makeup wipe. Let the eyelashes dissolve. Then go in with another makeup wipe to get the rest of the skincare off that you did before applying your makeup. And then maybe another makeup wipe just to get the other residue off. I know the Skincare Coalition is mad at me and the skincare community is mad at me as a whole. But it's just really so easy easy to do that and then after you do that with your makeup wipes just start cleansing your face bam you are done you do your little shower you get in bed and when they call you're like hello i'm ready <laughs> do you did everything you know how that works when you start dating I days when i'm just tired after dealing with the toddler you know work and just a easy one two makeup wipe wash face the best thing in the world. That is all I have to say. <laughs> the reason why I don't take this makeup wipe ban so seriously is because the same people who are telling you makeup wipes are horrible are the same people taking sponsorships from companies who sell makeup wipes. Sarah V is out here selling makeup wipes and I don't hear them not taking sponsorships from Sarah V. So you know, if we gonna keep that same energy about makeup wipes, let's keep that same energy about the sponsorships we take from companies who sell the makeup wipes. We not doing that, so I'ma continue to use the makeup wipes. <laughs> Side so note, my Instagram when I do like my Walmart skincare tours and you guys just see Sarah V selling makeup wipes, y'all go off and say, oh my God, I cannot believe Sarah V is so, they, girl, I look, and people taking sponsorships from this. So, you know, I mean, what, what is it? At least Neutrogena said theirs were disposable at this point. We have not yet heard that from CeraVe. Keep promoting CeraVe's products even though they sell makeup wipes. The contradiction of it all, I just don't understand. But you know what? I'ma just let it go because you know, at this point, I feel like I am going to get a lot of backlash from this video. But those are things that I just had to admit. I feel like this was a skincare therapy session. Um, <laughs> that being said, you guys, let me know all your skincare confessions, your skincare truths in the comments down below. Um, what do you do or what do you don't do that the skincare community has banned, honey, and you feel guilty, but you don't care. You just do it anyway. Let me know in the comments down below. Is it some of mine? I would like to know because I know a lot of y'all are out there. Y'all just, you know, you get on YouTube and you get on the internet. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, I don't do that. But you know, in your real day-to-day -day life, you actually be doing the stuff that they have banned and that you say you don't do. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your little taboo. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in our next video. Bye, you guys. Mwah.